Now, we also want to confirm to the public, uh, although the, the BBC termed the uh, Nyege Nyege Festival as an immoral event, but we don't think it was immoral. Uh, there's, uh, we didn't register uh, cases of immorality, like it was uh, uh, allayed in the fears of uh, uh, many legislators and uh, also members of the public. We want to uh, inform uh, the country that uh, the festival ended successfully and uh, uh, a number of uh, uh, local and international festival goers attended uh, the four-day event uh, with the spa uh, smashing performances from a number of artists, uh, musicians, and uh, a number of activities. So there was a, a plethora of uh, thrilling performances uh, ac uh, across the venue. And we want to uh, take this opportunity, first of all, to thank the joint security agencies for providing security. Uh, they did a commendable job. Out of the thousands who attended the festival, we managed to uh, register a total of uh, 76 cases only. We had uh, five cases of uh, uh, simple robbery. Uh, then uh, there were 51 cases of uh, theft, uh, minor cases of theft. Obtaining money by false pretense, two cases. Uh, stealing from motor vehicle, five cases. Malicious damage, two. Uh, criminal trespass, one. There was one incident of attempted rape, uh, one incident of threatening violence, one case of uh, giving false information. Uh, then there was one whom we got with uh, in possession of uh, housebreaking implements. Uh, there were three people who were in possession of opium and uh, uh, two cases of assault and then uh, one case of obtaining goods. Uh, by false uh, uh, pretense. So we also want to thank the media uh, partners who did a commendable job and the partner companies, the sponsors, MTN, Uganda Breweries and uh, uh, Vision Group and the many others and the entire crew of organizers, volunteers and most of all the entire revelers, both local and international uh, for their participation in the uh, Nyege Nyege Festival. Since it is an annual event, uh, we congratulate the organizers and everyone who we hope to meet again sometime, same time probably uh, next year. The, the, there was one case of an artist uh, who uh, I think is one of uh, uh, the makeup artists. He was a makeup artist called Seru Serunya, who acts with the Wakaliwood. That is the Ramon uh, film, film production. Uh, he was arrested, uh, of course, by police. This is somebody who uh, uh, displayed a very scary and ghoulish act, which, uh, without warning the public, so people were running and getting scared. When you're bringing out an act like this, you're supposed to warn the public. Otherwise, uh, you can scare people and at the end of the day, uh, without cautioning them, you find that you're causing injuries. Instead of, uh, if he was cleared to do a performance at a particular place, he should have restricted himself there. But now he was uh, running all over the, all over the place with the, uh, that act of his as if Fepanga had been uh, uh, had been uh, pushed, uh, he had been uh, uh, injured or pierced with a panga. So it was quite uh, uh, ghoulish and scary and we had to arrest him. Uh, eventually we had to caution him and uh, warn him, if you're bringing out a scary act like that, you're supposed to at least send a warning to those who are coming to view you so that it doesn't uh, uh, scare the others. So. Uh, our colleagues in the media should get to know uh, these protocols uh, that
that have to be followed.